Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to explain a random forest model. So let's begin. So in the previous video, I showed you how to create a random forest model, but in this video, it's going to be focused on explaining the random forest model. So you've created your model, right? You've gotten your metrics, but now how do you explain which features in your model are responsible for the results you are getting. That's what this video is gonna show you how to do. So if you haven't already, make sure you click the link in the description below and watch the video on how to create a random forest model. And in other videos, I show you how to create, how to explain linear regression models, gradient boosting models, and other models. So just go ahead and subscribe to the channel already. So we'll begin by exploring the future importances from the random forest model. So if you go scroll up here a little bit in the previous video, I created this uh, random forest model. I called it RF model. And if you go to the random forest model documentation, you see that it has an attribute called future importances. Basically an attribute is something that you can get from the model after you have put the model through your data. So we are going to be looking at the future importances. For this model, future importances is kind of like the equivalent of coefficients in, in, a, in a linear regression model. So to get the importances is actually very simple. We just call it RF model dot, as you can see the attributes here show up and also the different method that you can use. But in this case, you're just looking at future importances and let's just do importance here and get a preview of what it, what it looks like so these are the future importances from this model and each future corresponds to each future on the data frame so quickly right here if i go ahead and do x train dot columns so these are the futures in the data frame these are the columns in the data frame and each one of these features correspond to each column so this future importance is it's kind of like the value associated with each column from the model so let's go ahead and put our columns in a variable and now we are going to combine our future importances with our column so we're going to create a pandas series that basically takes um, this importance and associate it with the corresponding column that it describes. So I'm just going to call it RF graph is equal to pd.series and pd stands for pandas. I already imported pandas earlier and I'm going to do importances or importance and I'm then I'm going to do columns. And here I can do RF graph just to give you a preview of what it looks like. So as you can see right here, the future um, importance has been associated um, with the column and this is 4.7 times 10 to the negative 4 which is something as 0 0.000475 so we've combined our future importance with the corresponding columns now just looking at this you won't be able to make a whole lot of conclusions from it. Like this doesn't tell you much. It's difficult to just look at all these numbers and kind of pinpoint which features are important and which features are not important and how important that future is. So the magnitude of importance. It's difficult to make that conclusion just looking at this image, just looking at these numbers. So we are going to create a visualization from these numbers to kind of help us visualize the importance of each future on the model. All right. So first we are going to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. And we're going to see from matplotlib dot pyplot import figure. And if you are working in Jupyter Lab or VS code, make sure you have matplotlib installed in your environment first before you start doing any work. If you try to import matplotlib without having it in your environment, it's going to throw an error. 
So just putting it out there, make sure you have Matplotlib in your environment first. And I know I have Matplotlib in Google Colab, so I know this will work. So we are going to um, define the size of our chart. You can make it any size, but 10 by 10 is what I found um, to be big enough to fit all the columns without squishing them together. Now we are going to plot our series, which is a combination of the columns and importances. We are going to sort the values and ascending equal to true is the default, which means from lowest to highest. The plot, and we, we can do this dot plot because of my plot lib. And we want to create a horizontal graph. And we want it to be red. So bar just means a bar graph. H means a horizontal graph. And this color, it just means we want it to be the color red. And we can give it a title. And let's go ahead and execute this. And bam, there we go. We have our random forest model in future importances in a visual format. So based on this graph, we can see that these are kind of like the futures that has the most impact on what your insurance premium is. So basically, the target for this regression problem is trying to predict what your insurance premium is going to be, right? And we are trying to find out uh, what, what futures or what factors play a critical role in predicting your insurance premium. And based on a random forest model, we can see that having this type of cars and the type of coverage you have really does have an impact on your insurance premium. And we can also see that all these other factors doesn't have that much of an impact on your insurance premium. And this is kind of similar to what we got with the linear regression model. So if I scroll back up here a little bit, you can kind of see the chart for the linear regression model. And again, I showed you how to create a linear regression model and how to explain a linear regression model in a different video. So be sure to check that, those videos out. But having a luxury SUV or a luxury car, the type of coverage you have are like the main factors that plays into your insurance premium. And also, Right here, this linear regression model is showing that these factors will increase your insurance premium. But then the linear regression model says that these factors will decrease your insurance premium. So they have a negative impact. But um, our future importances from the random forest model shows us that these type of cars are the ones that have an impact on your insurance premium. Anyway, that's basically it for this video. That is one way for you to explain your random forest model. In a different video, I am going to show you how to explain a random forest regression model. It's very similar to this. It's not that much different, but I'm still going to make a video about it. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far, but you didn't like this video, please give it a double thumbs down and say subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get access to this notebook that I used, you can go to machinelearningeducation.com and here you can go to my free data science resources. And this is where I put all my notebooks. So I create a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of blogs and end up with a lot of resources and I just find it easy and more straightforward to create one platform where I can put my videos, my blog and my tutorial notebooks. And sometimes I release videos inside this platform long before I release it on YouTube. And also my primary website is evidencen.com. And also this is where I have my data science blog. So go ahead and visit me online at evidencen.com. And if you go to free data science resources, you, so you will also be able to get to this page. Again, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.